So dealing with patients with COVID in the intensive care unit is something uh, very special. Uh, those patients are very fragile in terms of uh, respiratory condition, of course. They face different complications and CT is there to detect those complications. By the end of March, uh, our hospital decided that we were to increase the intensive care unit uh, number of beds, the number of beds in the intensive care unit here at the University Hospital Henri Mondor. Actually, that was the creation uh, of 86 intensive care beds uh, we are usually dealing with uh, 90 beds at the, at the hospital, so that was actually doubling the number of beds in the ICU. So how do we deal with that? The first thing is we have to do it uh, in a rush. The, the second thing is we have to provide the best imaging uh, to those patients in the intensive care unit. And we have to have a new CT device brought to the, uh, to the facility so that we can take care of the patients. By the end of March, is we turned to GE Healthcare and said, okay, how can you help us? We have uh, three CTs already fully busy at the hospital. How can we create a fourth one, but not in one month, not in three weeks, but just in 10 days? And uh, here we are 10 days after, and the CT is arriving. As you can see right behind me, the CT is now uh, going to be loaded within the containers that have been brought and built, designed as we liked to deal with those patients in ICU with COVID and uh, we are ready to go. I would just like to say some words because that was a, a, an adventure really, an adventure for us, an adventure for GE Healthcare, but also an adventure for all those um, workers that have been working night and day throughout France to build those containers, to make sure that those containers will be delivered today out at our academic hospital. So for our patients, for us, thanks for providing and being successful at this challenge.